guys. No. <laughs> Who is that person? No. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you came back. Today we are doing my easy red lip. It's nothing fussy. It's what I do when I'm in a rush. It's almost like that French cool girl red lip. Most women have at least one red lipstick in their arsenal. And this is how I use my favorite red lip and what I do with it. So thank you for joining and yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get started because I gotta put some color on this face. I'm looking a little pasty. I've already prepped my skin, moisturizer, eye cream, that stuff earlier when I did my morning skincare routine, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of glow to my skin or a little extra glow because we are gonna do a matte red lip, which is to me the best red lip you can do is matte. I think it looks the nicest and it's probably the only time I'll suggest a matte lip because I'm usually a glossy girl, but matte red lip, the skin a little bit of glow. So I am gonna use Max Strobe Cream, a classic, and I have Pink Light. Um, I had a little mini one because I wanted gold light and they didn't have it, so I just wanted to see if I liked the pink light before I got the big size of it which is, you know, a good tip if if there is mini versions of things, but they're not, miniature items are not great for the environment because they usually can't be recycled. So just pick and choose what products you're interested in and, you know, don't buy everything miniature, but it is a good way to test stuff out. It just gives the skin a little bit more glow and it's not shimmery. It just gives really, really beautiful light to the skin. For foundation, it's MAC Face and Body. It's the only foundation I have right now, so you're gonna see me use it a lot, but I wanna use it up before I try other things. And I'm using my Heavenly, Heavenly Lux Face Brush from It Cosmetics that I love. Just gonna brighten a little bit under my eyes using my Tried and True RMS Uncover Up 22. I love this stuff. It seriously is like skin. I keep saying it, I'll probably keep repeating myself, but it's the it's one of my favorite concealers, especially for under the eye. I have a drier skin type, so anything that will mimic skin and blend out beautifully, I'm here for. So just under the eye, just to brighten up in the corner a little bit so we don't have that like purpley tone. I'm not a crazy color correct person, but color correcting does do a lot. If you know you have really purple under eyes, a peachy or an orangey color corrector just in the corners can really make a huge difference. I know Becca makes a really nice one. Live Tinted, Deepika's brand makes, I mean, the whole brand is centered around, you know, darker skin tones and correcting and that kind of thing and multi-use products. So great, those are some great color correctors. And then I'm going to use my favorite concealer brush, the Morphe E8, just to kind of buff around the edges too, to make sure everything, like if there's any excess product, I like to always go in, back in with a brush or use some sort of tool, a, a beauty blender or a sponge, just to make sure that there is an excess product sitting on the skin. So when we set it with a little bit of powder, it doesn't look heavy or anything like that. So I'm just gonna buff, buff a little bit. Work the product in further and blend it seamlessly with the foundation. I'm also gonna use this just to cover up my little scars on my cheek over here. I wouldn't say this concealer is like wicked awesome at like covering major pigmentation if you have that. I'd definitely go with like a thicker um, concealer that's not meant for the under eye, like a Clé de Peau makes iconic, you know, coverage concealer. Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer, work, I think really works wonders on pigmentation. Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Those kind of thicker formulas are good for covering pigmentation, but I just keep it light. Like I don't care if you see a little bit of this over here, it's fine. And then whatever's left, I'm just gonna buff around my nose, my mouth, between my eyebrows. I just work the product in so everything is seamless and there's no harsh lines. You don't see anything. It looks like skin. That is my last cream product. The rest are powder. So I am gonna set with a little bit of powder. 
I used to hate powder, by the way. If you're somebody who has dry skin, you know what that's like. Powder is like your worst enemy. I used to be like, who uses powder? Like, no way. Over the last year or so, I've gotten into it only because I use so many cream products and I live in New York City. I'm walking around all the time. I'm sweating, it's hot, I'm on the subway. It's just hot. I don't want my makeup to move around and shift all over the place. The Hourglass Veil Powder, that it's a translucent powder. I love it, it looks airbrushed, especially under the eye. And I used to hate powder under the eye. I would cringe, it would make me look like I was 85 years old. It just looked gnarly. And then I started using this and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, airbrush Flawless Powder is also really great for under the eye, but the stuff, it, it looks really good. And this is a highlighter brush that's very old. Look, it's broken. I think I had this in college and I was studying abroad and who the hell knows what happened to this thing, but I love this brush. It's great for highlighter, but I started using it for powder and I love it. So I'm gonna move on to bronzer. I am gonna wait to do blush at the end because red lips and blush, it's like a balancing act with how much you use, what color you use. I have a whole spiel about it. So I'll do that towards the end. Just gonna add some bronzer to bring color back into my skin and just, you know, warm the face up a little bit since we are looking like an egg a little bit. <laughs> so you, NARS Laguna, love it. So just around the perimeter of the face, the forehead, I love a bronzed forehead. And even as we get into the fall months, I will do, I will still do bronzer. Um, the tone of bronzer will just kind of change, but always bronzer. And I'm also gonna put a little bit in the socket of my eye. I'm gonna do a little bit of um, like a very subtle eye later, but this just kind of evens everything out. I like having whatever you put on your cheeks in your eye too. I'm gonna show you a little trick. I, when I do a red lip, I love to have like a really fluffy brow. So I, I'm gonna fill them in a little bit today, but then I'm gonna show you what I do to kind of push the hairs up. Instead of going out and buying like a specific product for this, I have a little trick. So I'm gonna, just gonna brush up the hairs and ever so slightly fill them in. I have pretty decent brows. They, they are what they are. Nothing more grows than what these are. So I'm just gonna fill in ever so slightly where there may be tiny gaps, extend the tail out a little bit. I'm not gonna change the shape or anything. Just tiny hair like strokes. Brush the product through. See this sky versus sky. The shape isn't any different. It's just a little bit more filled in, which I don't always fill them in. I sometimes just put some um, the hourglass color gel in, in them, but sometimes you just feel like filling them in. I forgot to say what I was using. This is the Maybelline Ultra Brow Slim. It's pretty comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz that everyone uses. I used to use it, but because I don't fill my brows in like this, like every day, I didn't want to spend the money on that pencil, so I bought this. It's almost identical, seriously. And my color is soft brown. Here's my little trick. I love the pushed up eyebrows, but like I said, because my brows are a little bit more straight, you can see here if I'm just relaxed and not going like this. I love them to be, the hairs to be up like this. Not for everybody, but I love it. Instead of going out and buying a brow wax, so, soap brows, which is just, I think like pure Castile soap. That's all kind of like messy to me and it seems like a lot of work. And I don't want to go out and purchase a product that I can only use for that one thing. Two tricks, hair gel or hairspray. Spray it on your spoolie, coat it pretty good, and then run it through your brows. It's a little wet now, it will get a little bit more tacky. So this is what you do to get them to stay. Flip your spoolie over, press the hairs down like this so they kind of stay, like you're molding your brow hairs. It's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But look at the difference, this one and this one. <laughs> See what I mean? Sorry. I think the guy above me moved and they're like, got renovating this place, so yay for me. See how this one is up? Love this look. This one's like a sad, depressed eyebrow. So I'm just gonna make it so it's not stuck to my face. You can mold it to be how you want. It's the same idea with brow wax. 
except you don't have to go out and purchase brow wax. Use a hair gel or a hairspray and it works just as well. Brows are on. And you can see, see how just more perked up they look. And I normally would never be able to do this with my brows if I didn't put anything in them. They would just kind of sit flat, which I don't mind that look for every day. It's just how they are. But for this type of kind of more fresh looking face and lip that we're gonna do. I love this kind of fluffy brow. I think it looks really pretty. Next, we are going to do eyes and they're gonna be so, so simple. So I'm gonna use the same bronzer that I used on my face, which is the NARS Laguna. And I'm just gonna run a little bit in my crease and under my eye, just to give it some shape. It's, it's nothing insane. So I do this trick every time I do my makeup, I always put bronzer in the crease of my eye and under my eye. It just, it's almost like contouring and just bringing back like the natural features of your face so you don't look flat and one dimensional. I think I'm gonna try this only because I just got this product and I'm kind of excited about it. It's from Glossier. It's the Sky Wash. It's in the color Echo. These look really cool to me because it's just a wash of color and I love for, with a red lip, something really, really natural and simple and effortless, so I don't know. I'm gonna try this out. I've never used this before, so we're gonna see how this goes, but it looks so pretty. This color looks kind of insane, but online it just looked like you, it's like a wash of color. I'm a little nervous. It's brown on my eye right now. <laughs> I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. And let's see what happens here. Pretty. It feels like nothing, like watery. And then also from Glossier, I got the Lash Slick Mascara, which I have never tried before, so I'm super excited. My Maybelline uh, Falsies Lash Lift that I always use and I talked about in my last video, um, it's getting pretty dry, so I wanted to try this. It's a tubing mascara, so it's supposed to make your lashes really long and come off easily, which I love. Okay, so mascara is on. This is a very different mascara than I've ever used. Um, I have to play with it more. I like it, but it's not normally the lash style that I go for. It looks very natural, but it just enhances what you already have. I think this would be great like every day if you just wanna do a quick swipe and enhance what you have. I normally either go, I'm either no mascara or it's like all the way. But for this look, I do like this because, I don't know, it's just a bit more modern, a little bit cooler. You're not trying so hard kind of thing. So my lips were already prepped with just a little bit of Vaseline earlier um, this morning and just let it soak in. That's the thing about like when you do a more intense lip is make sure you prep your lips normally. If I had like, a drier lip or my lips weren't feeling that like that great that day use a lip scrub and I make this one at home I'll show you it's kind of I don't know looks kind of interesting nope so this is just Vaseline and coconut sugar you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on a lip scrub this is literally what they're gonna give you for $25 at Sephora my boyfriend, I even got him using this because he's got dry lips too and I tell him use this because it really, it'll look fully and moisturized. So hey, make it at home, super easy. I am going to use my favorite red lip. It's a lot of people's favorite red lip too, but it's so easy to apply. It is the NARS um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. And it's just a really classic, red it's not too blue it's not too orange um i think it goes to goes through many seasons you can wear it in the summer and the fall there are so many brands that make matte lip pencils like this that i think are the easiest to apply and reapply i've tried maybe 50 different liquid lipsticks i cannot get on the liquid lipstick bandwagon i have too dry of skin too dry of lips they crack they don't move they drive me crazy. I've tried so many times, but I can't get into it. So this is my favorite. The base color is on. I think it looks great. My lips are not perfectly symmetrical and that's okay. Who cares? That's a face. So I'm just gonna use like a, a lip brush 
and just buff the edges on a little bit so it's it's not we don't have a, we're not trying to create a harsh line so this helps to just diffuse it a little bit so it is somewhere in between imperfect and perfect it just looks like lived in another trick i have that i'm not going to do today but you can do mix a little of the um lipstick you're using on the back of your hand with your concealer and pat that on your cheeks it's the easiest way if you're concerned about matching undertones of blush to your lip color it's foolproof and it works beautifully and that concealer will really blend in with your skin and you'll get the color and the undertone from your red lip. So that's one trick. I personally like a bronzy cheek with a little bit of pink in it with my red lips. It's just what I like and it's what I have. I'm gonna use, and I used these last time, I love these. Um, it's the Burt's Bees blushes. I'm gonna use two colors. I have the pink one, which I didn't, I didn't use the pink one last time, but it's really pretty the names are come off so there's only three i have all three of them but that's the pink one and toasted cinnamon which is the more bronzy color so i'm just gonna mix the two together and it'll just create a really beautiful flush i think bronze skin and a red lip you can really can't go wrong the last step is highlighter per usual i'm using the rms living luminizer this girl is on her last leg well, we are going to use her up. It's just, it looks like healthy skin. High points of the cheeks, nose. That's it. Just to bring some life back into the skin. That's it. Super simple. This is my modern red lip, cool girl, not trying too hard. Keep it easy, keep the layers pretty light. Even if you eat or drink and you go out, it's so easy to reapply. It's velvety smooth. I love it, it's a cult classic. Hope I have nothing on my teeth. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, I forgot to say this. Please like and subscribe. I could use all of the support I can get. Um, and comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you'd like to see, if there are specific looks you wanna see me do. I love to experiment and do fun stuff. I'm really excited for Halloween coming up because I'm gonna do, I have some really fun ideas in mind for that. So give me some ideas, comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see and I'll be happy to do it. And I, as always, really appreciate the support and I'll see you guys next time.